Hi everyone, today we're going to be setting up the QNAP 6Bay TS664. So if you have a look down here, we're going to be installing two NVMe drives, which are four terabytes each. We're going to be installing eight gigabytes of RAM into the two DIMM slots. And we're also going to be installing these 12 terabyte Western Digital WD Red Plus drives, filling up all six of the bays today. And I'm going to show you the kind of hardware process behind this. So I'm going to put my equipment to the side. Then we'll just take this NAS out of the box. It's got a power cable. We've got our warranty information, power supply, network cable, and screws. And then inside itself, we're gonna pull out the box. And here we have our wonderful NAS. So this thing is quite light when it's empty, but that's all about to change once we put all the hard drives in. This is gonna feel very different. So take the NAS out of the plastic. And what we have here is a beautiful machine. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So we need to put it on the side. We're gonna take off this front cover here. And to do that, we need to make sure that this is on the off the padlock icon here. So if you look on the top here, you can see that there's this kind of lock icon and make sure that it's not on there. And that means that we can basically slide the front off. So if I just slide this to the side, this uh, plastic cover will not come off. And now we've got access to the rest of the NAS. So after we've taken the front cover off, we need to take out the hard drive bay. So just pull this bay on the side. I want to take out the kind of caddies and just put them on the side here. And that is now completely clear. So what I'm gonna do is like prop this up a bit so you can see an angle. So basically with the QNAP TS664, if you want to change the RAM or the solid state drives, you don't need to remove any of the back plates or any screws. You just need to take out the hard drive base and then we've got access to the RAM sticks here. And this is the four gigabyte module. This has a RAM stick already installed. I've heard that the eight gigabyte version has soldered RAM. So if we want to upgrade to 16 gigabytes or more, I've heard 32 gigabytes will also work as a configuration here. Then if you buy the four gigabyte version, you're gonna get a RAM stick installed here first. So to remove this initial four gigabyte stick, we're just going to pull the tabs on the side. Kind of hard to see here, but there's this little metallic tab here on the top RAM stick there. So if you see there, and there's one here as well kind of hard to see, but basically I've pulled the RAM stick on the side and now this has come at this kind of weird angle, which I'm gonna show you now. Now I'm just gonna pull this out. This is a four gigabyte stick of Transcend Memory to 666. And we're gonna install our RAM here. So this is RAM that I've bought online. This is Integral RAM, eight gigabytes DDR4 to 666 megahertz SODIMM. So we're just gonna install these now. And uh, let me put this in focus again. So here we just need to match up the notches. So we've got a notch on the left here. I'm just kind of pop it in here an angle into that slot like that. And then I'm gonna push this down. And then that slots in like that. Then we do the next stick. So this one's backwards as well. The notch facing us by a specific way. So it goes in at this funny angle Then we push down. And then now that is fully installed. So great, we're gonna do the solid state drives next. So these have to be NVMe drives. So these are crucial P3s. These are a bit overkill to be honest, four terabytes in size. They can't be SATA drives, just be aware of that. And then this is this type of key. And we're gonna store this in the solid state drive here. The slot number one. And uh, all we need to do is to pop this in. This also goes on angle with a notch on the right. And uh, we just go into the slot. So there's not a huge amount of space here, so you can't let it go all the way. It kind of wants to be sticking higher up, but uh, it doesn't allow us to do that. And then we have this little blue tab here. All we have to do with the solid state drive, just push down. And then that blue tab will just stick that solid state drive down. No screws are required. Next, we're gonna do our next four terabyte drive here, and we're gonna slot it into slot number two. So we've got slot number two's there. Just pop this in on the side. Bit of a delicate job. So sticking it at an angle, then push down. And now that crucial drive has been installed. So we've successfully 
upgraded our NAS from four gigabytes to 16 gigabytes, and we've installed two four terabyte NVMe crucial drives. None of these are on the compatibility list, but I'm gonna show you that they're all gonna work fine because I've done this before. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and install the drive base into the NAS. So we've got our Western Digital Reds here, and we've got our little caddies that we took out earlier. And basically these caddies kind of work at uh, this angle going in with the handle on top. So all you need to do is to make sure that your hard drive is facing this way. And then the mounting clip can really only go one way. You can see this blue uh, screw type thing here with the black thing sticking out. Those are basically the 3.5 inch mounts for the hard drive. So I'm just gonna zoom out a bit so you can see a bit clearer. So basically we just uh, pop them in like that. They might need a bit of pulling. And then we can basically lift up our NAS. I'll just show you at an angle. You don't have to actually lift it up yourself. And then we're gonna slot it in like this. So the handle is at the top here. And then it kind of goes in and it clicks. So basically that hard drive is attached to the backboard with all of the different hard drives there. They're all numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've just installed hard drive number six into here. So that's number one. Let's go ahead and do the rest. So just before I install the last one, just be aware that you could actually mount other types of drives here too. If you had a 2.5 inch drive, you could just slot them in to this slot here and they'll fit into this other slot. But we are using these big hard drives instead. We're going for capacity rather than speed and uh, kind of price per storage ratio as well. So hard drives, always recommended. Although solid state drives, the SATA you know, type here would be a lot quieter and technically a lot faster as well. So that's all six of my hard drives installed and this is just a lot heavier now. Um, one thing I'm also gonna do, remove the plastic as well because uh, I think it looks kind of ugly with all this plastic. So take off the plastic here. Make it look a little bit tidier. And now that's basically set up. Now we're gonna put the front cover back on. So the way to put this cover back on, we need to kind of place the plastic front cover about there. So you can see these little notches at the top here. So you can't really slide it all the way from left, it has to be like that. Then we push it to the right. And then on the left hand side here, we have this lock function here. So now that can't be moved. And of course, this is one glossy fingerprint magnet, but we are gonna remove this front. Beautiful. This is now basically all set up for us to use. So we're gonna put this onto um, a power supply. If you wanna see the video about how I attached this to an APC uninterrupted UPS, if you want to see a video about how I've attached this NAS to an APC UPS, which is an uninterruptible power supply, then make sure to click the link in the description. But basically powering this is pretty straightforward. We need to use the power supply, which goes into this DC in port there. Then we're going to plug in the three pin cable here and then into our power supply. And then we're going to connect up the network port, this one to our network. This is a 2.5 gigabit ethernet. These are both 2.5 gigabit ethernet. And this should give us really fast access time because I want to do some 4K video editing from this drive. So anyway, that is how you go ahead and set up the hard drives and RAM and solid state drive upgrades on the TS664 NAS. If you want to find out how to actually set this up by software, I want to have a video on this as well. Please check the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.